Good morning my darlings. So in today's video I have an unboxing video with you guys and I'm so excited to unbox these because as you guys know I have been waiting for the longest time to open up some of these items and actually let me share the tea that I'm having this morning. This is a really nice blend. It's a jasmine tea, summer flowers, and this is by Harrods. And it's a really nice, refreshing tea with delicate notes of cornflower. There's rose in here. There's a little bit of lavender. So that's the tea that I'm having today. I have all the items in here to unbox quite a bit in here, guys. And these items that I have are actually items I have been collecting for some time and a lot of the perfumes and skincare stuff like that has been out of stock for the longest time. So a lot of the items I bought here is actually from I think February, March, I've been buying some of these items. So let's get started. Um, as you guys know I love Chance, it's one of my favourite perfumes from the house of Chanel. This is the original fragrance. This is the perfume that I fell in love with. When I first started wearing fragrances from the Chance collection, it was this one that I loved. Chance started off as a eau de toilette in this formula here, and then by popular demand, they released a eau de parfum. I have both, um, but today's video is going to be mainly just unboxing of everything and I have a few from the collection. So I have something from the Chance range, I have something from the Gabrielle range, and then I have also Chanel number no. five as well. And then I do have some Coco Mademoiselle. This item here was actually discontinued. It was limited edition and to be honest, I was in two minds whether I should buy this or not. And then I decided later on that I was going to buy it, but I saved it for the summer because this is their summer collection and it's very light, it's delicate. I do like the version here, it's really nice. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get back into that. So what I thought I would do for you guys today, I did ask you on a poll whether you wanted to see an unboxing video and you all voted for an unboxing Video. I'm going to start off with my eau de toilette. This is Chant the original and they would normally describe this to be the original Chant as it's the first that came out. It's the eau de toilette version so don't get it confused with the eau de parfum. Um, so let's open this one up. So on the packaging you were looking for the pretty pink colour on the box there but you will see that the writing is in a silver colour there we go you can see it a bit better there on camera so it's silver and at the top this is almost a champagne very light silvery gold colour but it's very light so let's open this one so guys I have the travel per spray which I wanted to replace to a full bottle. So here's the bottle here. Look how lovely this is. So this is the only bottle that has the see-through cap, as you can see here. And I really, really love it. This looks so nice, so stunning. Like I said, I had the purse spray before, but this is my go-to scent for the evenings. If you're looking for something that is fresh and bright, but it has a depth to it, then you can try this one. This has notes of lots of patchouli, guys, lots of citruses. It's bright, it's refreshing, but it's very elegant. This makes a great daytime scent. I think you can wear this for any occasion. So this is really nice. I'm just going to quickly smell this one. Look at the cap, it's so nice. Gosh, that's really beautiful. Uh, you guys can see the cap there, it's really nice, really beautiful. And you can see the chance is written there in a silvery colour, really nice. So that's my chance, I'll leave that one there. The next item I have here, this is my chance au tendre. And this is also a eau de toilette. This version is stunning, guys. You would hear me talk about this all the time, I absolutely love it. 
and I can't wait to unbox it. So I already have a five ounce bottle, which is running out pretty quickly. I'm going through that like you wouldn't imagine. So I decided to buy another 100 mil now. Um, so this is my first 100 mil purchase. Okay, so here we have my shots in another beautiful pink box. And I'm going to compare the two shots perfumes together. There they are side by side. I think, okay, I think this one here, the original shots is a little bit darker, the packaging, but to be honest, it's more or less the same, guys. Um, you will just notice that this has a pink um, lettering here so that indicates which fragrance you're buying so pay attention to that and um, yeah I'm really excited to open this up you've got your double C here and at the top it is sort of a I want to say like an iridescent pearl color at the top of the packaging and on the sides and then the box is just a lovely pink so let's open this one up Again, like I was saying, guys, um, I have been a fan. Look at that um, iridescent colour. It's really nice. It's like a pearl. And yeah, like I was saying, guys, I've been a fan of this fragrance ever since I discovered it. It was definitely another first sniff for me. Um, but here is the beautiful fragrance there. This version is light. It is fresh. I would describe it to be a citrus floral perfume with notes of musk. We have quince and grapefruit in the opening. Then we have some hyacinth in the middle and we have beautiful soft musk in the trail and it leaves a fruity, delicate touch to the skin. It's really nice. I think this is a perfume you can buy that would suit anyone. If they're not, um, if you're not so sure what they like from Chanel, this is a very easygoing perfume. It makes a great daytime scent. And um, I just love it. Look at the color of the juice, guys. Now, like I said, the original Chance has a clear lid there. And then the rest from the collection will have a frosted lid there. It's so beautiful. I really like that. So I'll leave those two there. Now, the next item I'm going to open up, I bought the Autumn deodorant as well. And let's open this one. Again, you've got the same packaging, the color, everything coordinates together. And then you've just got that sort of pearl shade at the top. So let's open this one. I have the Allure deodorant. It's the first time I'm trying this version here, but because I enjoy this scent so much, guys, I've been wearing it a lot. I thought maybe this would be nice to keep with me when I'm traveling or, you know, a countryside stay. I can just take this with me or just put it in my, my handbag for daytime use. Um, so I thought, let me just try this. I'm really intrigued by this one. So let's open this one up. Um, I'm just going to take it out here. So here we have our deodorant, guys. And... The feel of the actual um, container is almost like a frosted feel. Let's spray this bit there. Oop. So on the opening, I'm receiving, oh, it's quite fruity, fresh, and already it's powdery. This smells really good. This smells really, really nice, actually. I wasn't expecting the deodorant to smell so similar to the perfume. The next item I'm going to open up is this one here, and this is my Light Fragrance Mist, and this is by Coco Mademoiselle. Now, this is the first time me actually owning this fragrance, and I haven't, um, I mean, I've tried it in the past, I've worn it in the past, but I've never actually owned this. So I'm quite excited to see how this is going to be on my skin. I really do like, this version of Coco Mademoiselle. I feel like it's a little bit lighter. Um, it's not so rich in patchouli. I find the opening quite soft, but let's just see. Let me open this one here. You have that typical Chanel packaging here. You have that iridescent pearl and the gold accents at the top there, really nice. Right, let's open this one. 
Wow, I love this. I love this packaging. It reminds me a lot of the travel spray. If you have the pest spray, then it has the same sort of feel and texture, the same color and sheen. It's really nice. Again, it's that iridescent pearl with some notes of champagne gold in there. And you've got the gold ring on the side and the double CC. I think I was quite lucky to get this, but if you are from London, um, you can definitely pick this up from the boutique. They still have it in stock. It's not out of stock. Yeah, definitely head over to the boutique in London because they still stock this. Um, let's have a try of it, guys. So I'm going to do a full review on this product. Like I said, this video was mainly going to be an unboxing video and I have a few items to unbox today. And, um, but yes, very quickly, the opening is slightly different from your typical Chanel. I'm getting this fizzy orange sort of note with a little less patchouli, it's a little bit softer. And it does have a very light sparkling water effect. Very citrus, like a citrus water. Quite nice actually. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. I'm really curious about the longevity of this because it's a light fragrance mist, but Let's give it a go and see. If you guys have tried this already, this was released last summer. Let me know what you think of it, and if you were still in love with it, I'd love to know. The next item I have from Coco Mademoiselle is the Hair and Body Shower Gel. And this is something so interesting. Number one, I like the packaging. I wanted something that I could keep for a weekend stay or an overnight stay. And the size of this was really sleek. I do like the design. So let me quickly open this. But there's just something about the Chanel packaging and the joy of unboxing. I just really wanted to share this with you. We're in the middle of, well, almost heading towards summer and it feels like Christmas right now. Okay, so let's have a look inside. Can you guys see already? The shower gel is now in a tube. I love this so much, guys. I really, really do love this. I really do like this sleek design. I think this is perfect to slip into your gym bag if you are by the beach or a weekend stay, like I said before. Or you sometimes you just never know what you're gonna end up doing and it's like if you just keep this in your bag, you can just use this to delicately freshen up. Um, so I do quite like that and look at the packaging. I just love it. It looks like almost a makeup product, doesn't it? Or oh, it looks like one of their, um, like their skincare items. So I have the original shower gel, which is in that sort of square boxy shape or a rectangular shape. And this is just less bulky. It's a bit more lightweight. And um, that's the set there together. And I will do a full review on the whole collection of my Coco Mademoiselle. Uh, yeah, I'll start filming that pretty soon, guys, because I want to share everything I have from the collection. I am so excited to open up this box here. This is my Gabrielle Chanel Essence. And my goodness me, my darlings, I've been wanting this fragrance for so long. I've been extremely indecisive about buying this one. I do have the original Gabrielle Chanel and it's the lighter version than this and I really wanted this because it contains those white florals that I love and notes of coconut. I've been wearing it on my skin and I think the only reason why I didn't buy this um, earlier was because it reminds me so much of a J'adore by Dior. And, um, but I never actually tried the essence. So let me unbox this with you guys. Here we have this gold packaging. And it's like a muted gold. It's not very bright. It's like a very soft, delicate gold color. And it's all the way around. And we've got the CC there at the top. So let me open this one up. So I'm feeling pretty brave that I went ahead and bought a 100ml of this fragrance because like I said before, I've never bought this version. I've only had the original and that was in a purse spray, but I really do prefer this version. 
in comparison. I like the sweeter coconut notes. There we go. This is a really nice gold, actually. I wish there was a null polish in this color. It'd be quite nice. So let's open this one up. Now, I think this would make a really nice daytime scent. This might be my new daytime scent, actually, um, especially for the spring and summer. So let's open this one. So the opening of this fragrance is very similar to the Chanel number no. five, Low. It has a very similar packaging style where it's surrounded by a cardboard just here. And there's my fragrance there. How stunning is that? I love the color of the juice. It looks so nice. Really elegant. Imagine that on your dressing table. I will be wearing this perfume. I will update you on its longevity and what I think of the perfume and its performance. Um, but so far, I'm really liking the bottle. It looks really nice. I do like the lid there as well. The juice is really stunning. A very light amber colour. It just looks like summer doesn't it it's refreshing it's white florals it's coconut let's just smell a little bit here guys oh wow this is so nice okay so <laughs> i had a very quick spritz of this and i have to say no regrets so far on the first spray i'm getting coconut already and soft white florals so i'm excited for this one the next item i have here to unbox is my hair mist and I believe this is going to be the same scent as the fragrance I have already which is your original Gabrielle and it's presented in a similar box just a smaller size this is a 40 mil actually I thought it was a lot smaller so let's open this one up as well I actually thought this bottle was going to be a lot smaller so I'm really happy about that and guys look how it's presented I really do like that it's all about the experience so let's open this one again you've got that sleeve on the inside and that's my hair mist there I do love how it's presented in a frosted bottle that sounds so new guys so crisp <laughs> that squeak that is stunning I love this bottle it looks so soft it looks like I'm ready for a summer day and that's the two side by side 40 mil 100 mil I can easily put that in my handbag and take that around with me and just a few delicate sprays during the day to make my hair smell amazing so let's try this one this is such a delicate, pretty bottle. The hair mist is your original Gabrielle Chanel, guys. This is really nice. It's really fresh and it smells the way I was expecting it to smell. However, I do wish it had the scent of the essence. This is sweeter, a bit more warming and extremely elegant. This one is gorgeous. Um, but yeah, this is still stunning. It's still lovely as a daytime scent, really fresh and bright. This is the last item I bought, which is my Chanel number no. five deodorant. And I've never tried this version. The only deodorant I've ever bought from Chanel was Allure. And unfortunately, I don't know what's happened to Allure. They've discontinued the entire skincare range, the body care. Um, and it's so unfortunate because that deodorant smells amazing. So I thought I'll buy this one because this does have this sort of powdery, warming scent to it. So I thought this could be nice to wear every day. Again, you've got that traditional Chanel number no. 5 packaging. It's black and white. And yeah, I do like that classic, clean, sort of sleek look. This packaging has more of your matte finish and smooth and clean. 
It just looks really stunning in the Chanel gifting set. So if you were gifting, you will be spoilt for choice when it comes to setting up the perfect gift. They just have everything. They just know how to get it right when it comes to packaging. So let's try this one. Here, this looks inside. Oopsie. And there we have the Legister. Let me slide this one out. There we have it, guys. My Chanel number no. five deodorant. Now, this is something I would really save more for the winter months because it has that warming powder musk scent. A lang is in here. You've got aldehyde, it's powdery. Um, I think I'm going to save this one for the winter. But let me try this on my skin. Guys. <laughs> okay, so I've changed my mind. I'm going to be wearing this immediately. I'm not waiting for the winter at all. This smells so nice. This smells so good. However, there's something about it. It's giving me a powdery makeup vibe. Almost like, I don't know why, just initially in the opening, let me know if you've experienced this as well, but it smells a little bit like a powdery, creamy foundation. <laughs> it gives me like makeup vibes as well. But let's see how it settles down. I'm going to do a full review on all of these products very soon, guys. But yes, I'm not waiting for the autumn and winter. I'm going to wear this soon. It's gorgeous. So my darlings, that brings me to the end of my haul and unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed this content and thank you guys ever so much for voting as well. If you have any more ideas on the type of content you'd like to see from me, please let me know. I'll be very happy to um, film that for you. Just drop a comment down below in the comment section and I will start filming something for you very soon. So darlings, um, tell me, what are you loving from my unboxing video here? What's your favorite item? I think for me, I was extremely excited. Oh, let me just put my tea down quickly. I think I was really excited to unbox my um, essence and then also the original chance because I just love the bottle and um, I already have this fragrance, but it's running out very quickly. So I decided to stock up on that. And then, yeah, I was really intrigued about this here, the Low from Coco Mademoiselle. I love how sleek this is, guys. I'm loving just about everything here, but most definitely, I think the winner for today's unboxing would have to be this one. This is gorgeous. The notes of the white florals and the coconut. So that's going to be my new summer fragrance. I might make it a little bit of a signature scent there as well. So darlings, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new to my channel, I welcome you. And for those of you who have been here by my side, watching my videos with me, thank you for being a part of my family. And please subscribe if you are into fragrances, lifestyle and everything feminine. And my darlings, I'll see you in the next video.